Callos a la Madrileña. This is a traditional Spanish dish that has been eaten in the province of Madrid since at least the late 16th century. Callos was originally a dish eaten by the lower class. The ingredients tend to include things that are considered casqueria. Casqueria includes parts of animals that most people typically don't want to eat. Snouts, trotters, ears, intestines. These sorts of things are casqueria. The most important ingredient of callos is tripe. Tripe is cow stomach. We need tripe, snout, some recipes include this, others do not, trotters, cow trotters, chorizo. This is a spicy Spanish sausage made from pork. Morcilla, also known as black pudding or blood sausage in English, little tiny cuts of Spanish ham as well. Pork belly to add flavor. Bay leaf for flavor. Garlic, a staple in Spanish cooking. Tomato sauce, paprika, and chili peppers if you so choose to have your callos with a bit of bite. Around Spain, you can also find callos served with chickpeas as well. This is a dish that needs lots of time and preparation. Before preparing callos, all of the cascaria must be completely cleaned and should be left in water the day before. The next day, when everything is cooking together, it'll cook for about four hours together. I remember my first time trying callos. I was in the home of a Spanish family who had planned on serving it for dinner, but I had never heard of this, I didn't know what it was. And when they put it down in front of me, it did not have the most appealing appearance, in my opinion. But I felt like I'm a guest in their home. I can't tell them I'm not going to eat this. So I did my best, I started to eat it. The first thing I noticed that I didn't really like the texture too much, the texture of the cow's stomach. It's a very kind of uh, slimy, soft texture that maybe not everyone will enjoy. But I did enjoy the taste. I enjoyed the smoky flavor that the paprika gives, and then the chili pepper adds a bit of bite, along with, if a spicy chorizo is used, a little more bite as well. If you're a bit shy about ordering an entire plate of callos to yourself because you don't know if you'll like it, a lot of bars around Madrid will give callos as a tapa. You have to find one that has prepared it that day, but you could have a little on a plate for the price of your beer or your glass of wine. Give it a try. Thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about strange and interesting foods here in Spain. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.